It was August 12th, 2019. Two lovers joined forces to try to save a civilization on the brink of collapse. Hello, everybody. Hello. Welcome to uh, Jordy's Jordy's Strategy Corner. So you've played Roller Coaster Tycoon. Yeah. You played some of that. I imagine this is the same. Yes, this is pretty much Roller Coaster Tycoon um, with uh, Frostbite. I will just sort of explain what happens. Things get cold, and for some reason, everybody goes to the poles Mm -hmm. uh, where they build these giant frost engines. Mm. And it's sort of like a steam, frozen steampunk world. Mm. Whatever we do, we should expect the worst now that the world as we know it has crumbled. Mm. We have to survive. The main things to get right away are like coal, and then food is super important because if people starve, they start getting sick super quick. And then if people get sick really quickly, then that's no good. Mm -hmm. No roof over our heads. All right. And then you get to decide if you're going to do something. What you're going to do in response to their Mm -hmm. things. Mm -hmm. People will beg for a lot of stuff. We want this. We want that. Bloody, bloody, blah. But sometimes you got to say no because you got to do things for the greater good. Mm -hmm. Um, One of the, the good things about the game is... Uh, people will stop working when nighttime comes, but they won't stop building. So you can build something at any time of day, okay. which is which is good. As they began to understand their surroundings better, the two got creative with their management style. These are different laws that we can pass, and some are very nice, like child shelters. Oh, that's super sweet. Or you can choose child labor, and that. Mm-hmm. can also be good mm-hmm. for industry. Mm-hmm. But the people don't super like it. You can build a cemetery. Oh, that's very nice for all the dead bodies. Or you can cor- dispose corpses. Mm-hmm. So the main thing of the game is you have your hope and you have your discontent. Mm-hmm. And those are sort of opposing forces. Mm-hmm. And you want to try to get as much like as much hope as possible and keep your discontent low because if you get if your hope drops to zero or if your discontent rises to a hundred percent then uh you lose the game there's like so many different it's a very complex game i know it is i expect nothing less from from such an astute consumer such an astute stuter my mother was a stuter (laughs) <laughs> and I will thank you not to use that word so lightly. There's workers and engineers, and they have different things they can do. Oh, am I your economist? My economist. Am you I your economic right. advisor? Uh, yeah, I suppose you are. Am I your economic advisor and <laughs> closet boy? <laughs> exactly. <laughs> your pool boy slash <laughs> economic advisor. Economic advisor. <laughs> ah, he's the eye candy. And also, the iron pen. Yeah. Listen, I put money in his wallet, and he puts money in the wallet of the nation. (laughs) You put money in my wallet, and I put my fingers in your pockets. Ah, there we go, there we go. (laughs) This game is pretty much about trying to desperately to have just enough resources to stay stay afloat. Sounds like life. (laughs) Would you put Nicki Minaj lyrics over my bloody valentine? Uh, guitars, or would you put My Bloody Valentine lyrics over Nicki Minaj beats? Great question. I would say... Thank you so much. Why not both? I got this. <laughs> Do both at the same time, always. In time, they thought they were on track for a true underdog survival story. How wrong they were. So there's a low chance of them getting better in both situations, but radical treatment can put them back onto society just as amputees. And, and I assume they have decreased working ability. And but later on, that. you can get prosthetics. Oh, that's where it gets frost punk. <laughs> <laughs> I think what might be fun is... Hit me. Is I'm going to play this game as no, best no, no, I can. Sorry. I mean, aside from the game. Oh, here we go. Ow. 
My cheeks. Leave my cheeks alone. Please. Ow. You're gonna knock my nose off. Yeah, you were gonna say something. You had a plan for yeah. this city. And as your economist, I must know, you must know what my you plans. intend to do. So, you might not be a big fan of it, but hear me out. Mm -hmm. I'm going to try and play this game as best I can up until a point, and then I'm going to see how quickly I can destroy it. Talk about creative destruction. Ooh! <gasps> see, I forgot to build the children's center. The children's center, Jordan. And I'm low on wood, so I can't do it. So You don't even have to intentionally try to screw these people over. Yeah, I'm just clearly. Gonna, I'm just gonna do it by accident. <laughs> Frostpunk 2017. It's like life. It's like life. That's the trick with this game, is it makes it very mm -hmm. hard to be a good guy. Mm-hmm. Cold homes. Okay, so the house homes are cold now, so I gotta... Oh, because the generator's down, because we're out of coal! Oh, jeez. Oh, oh, See, this is a... That's the thing about... See, this game, I can't... It sneaks up on like, you. I need to have so much focus for this game to be able to play this game. As labor dwindled, so did the stream of resources powering the city. Yeah, I just kind of, I can't do anything, so I just have to sort of sit and wait because I got no resources, except steel, mm. which does mean no good. Mm. Yeah, and as soon as it gets warm, the discontent goes down by a huge margin. So we're okay for coal, except it's definitely gonna run out before the end of the day. Or will it? Ooh, it's so close. Oh, what the, I broke another promise. And if you don't set things up properly right off the top. Right. If, and that's the thing is I've forgotten like some things. Yeah, but now we're soup. We're really going to be low on food soon. Oh, and then boy. people are going to start starving. Oh. And there's an unburied corpse. Oh, but I can build a cemetery now. You see, things start compounding. So next time you're angry at your civic leaders, just remember that it's a tough gig. Discontent rose, and it was becoming clear that the lovers were losing their grip on society. All right, all right. Sometimes you just gotta cut your losses. Jordy, I mean, this is what you were saying. You said we're gonna play until catastrophic exactly. failure. Exactly. So I'm gonna, so <laughs> I'm gonna shut down. <laughs> oh no. I'm gonna shut down oh, the no. generator. Oh, look at that discontent. Oh, oh gosh. Yeah. And uh, we'll just do this, and I think we will speed and our way to a everything quick demise. just implodes. I'm going to sign an ordinance that people don't like. <laughs> oh, these poor, poor people. And done. Oh, but we get a second chance. Right, right, right. Healthcare promise broken. Oh, yes. Oh, they're hopeless. Oh, you take to evil a little too well, Jordy. <laughs> For us, punk, it's like life. It's like life. <laughs> Soon they gave up. There was no use in blaming each other. They held each other close as the townsfolk rose against them. The townsfolk. So we have to wait out the clock. Uh huh. Thank you for this child shelter. You've done us so well. Oh God. That's a perfect ending. Oh God, they let asked, me out. They asked for the child shelter at the very beginning of this playthrough. Yeah, and we gave it to him. You can't address this right now. Oh God. Oh. Jesus H. Murphy. Yeah. Yeah. It's a real, it's a powerful game because you really do feel bad when you start, like when things fail. Well, thank you for going on this adventure. I'm glad to have been able to share this. I think this is probably the worst playthrough of Frostpunk ever committed to screen. And I feel good about that. Yeah. No, I mean, it wasn't about winning. No. Go away, people. Corpse is in the streets. <laughs> yeah, whatever. <laughs> I want to address that right now. Corpse in the street. <laughs> Housing <gasps> protest? Yeah, I destroyed all their houses as well. 
Oh. I had a wizard point. I want to dress this right now. Oh. Hey. We are the champion. Who will make our city great again? Oh, uh, if, if only there was someone out there who wanted to take this place under its wing. I am deposed. I did my best, though. This wouldn't be the last civilization the lovers would try to run, but those are stories for another time. Oh! <laughs> Merry Christmas! Oh, <laughs>